Hello everyone, welcome to Techie QA channel. Please subscribe our channel for more videos about testing and DevOps. So in this video, we are going to see how to do API testing with REST Assure. So already I have showed you how to validate the status code, just a status code. Now we can see how can we verify the response data. How can we validate the uh, response data from REST Assure. So this is uh, this, like this code we have created in last tutorial. So we, have check we are checking status code. Now, uh, we don't know what response is coming. We are getting just pass or fail. If you put wrong value, it's showing actual and expected. But we want to see the response data also. So here, we are going to how to do it. So after assert that, like after assert that, what you can do, you can put log, then all. Just add it and just run it. Yeah, see the response, whatever uh, came from the API, it will print it on the console. And you can verify if you are facing any issue. So maybe status code, it may not be required, but when we are validating some data, we have to verify actual what it came. So if any JSON path is changed, we can check. So here, the JSON is starting from here and uh, we want to validate total pages value is equal, should be four. Okay. So. So status code also we are verifying and uh, let me change the status code and data sorry so method i simply changed dot and I'm, I'm validating status code i have to add and because i will validate something uh, other things also and from the body Okay, so what value I want to validate? Total pages, directly add key. Key is total page. I have to add equal to, it should be four. Okay, so here I'm validating the total page as well as status code. So if you want to validate some other data also, we can. Let's see the first thing, then we will see how to validate like next level the inside data, how to how we can add a JSON path for these values and all. Let's see this, what will happen. Okay, response came. Now it's asserting status code and the value. Okay, cool. So it says pass. Okay. So let's see how can how can I validate this uh, like first item or a first name. So data instead of total page I put I have to put data. Then maybe it's a list, right? So it is a list. I should fetch the first element of list uh, I can put zero maybe zero dot first name should be equal to a Let's see what happened. If if the JSON path is, path is right, it will work fine. Otherwise, we need to change this JSON path. Okay, response came. Yeah, cool. It's pass. Done. So this is how we have to mention. If it is a list, so I'm telling how I mentioned this zero. So so here is the here like a open brace i have took data directly i took data so here it started on list so i'm taking uh, if it is list kind of thing the index i'm using index for this whole thing it will be a zero it's stored in zeroth index comma this is first index this is second index 
okay let me check if you are telling me this is second index right if i put three here let's see it's it's uh, it's not there like there is no uh, like out of box actually i am i have mentioned there is only two available till two available if i mention next one what it will say yeah it failed the reason of failure is data of three dot first names does not match so the json path which i mentioned is wrong so you will we will get that expect like uh, that kind of failure also if you don't have a value right value will get failure so if i use two is fine it will be there but the value of uh, second one is not a it's a crazy actually so if you put a assertion failure kind of thing so just run and see what it will say so expected is uh, hey and actually is crazy it should show yeah we got failure yeah we are getting JSON path expected is a actually is crazy so it it found it found it okay let's see what will happen if I add a Okay, anyway, we are able to access the first name. If we had right value of crazy, you can just run this to check the positive case and final. So this is how we can validate status code, data, both. So we have seen negative case also. We have used different uh, JSON path also. Okay, so this is pass. Okay, guys. So this is how we have to validate uh, response data and status code. Maybe next video we can see more about a uh, response. How can we validate more about a header thing? So if you face any issue of uh, getting the JSON path, please put into comments. If you have a JSON value also for a reference, you can put it into comments. So we will help you. Thanks for watching.